Welcome back to the continuation of the uh, skateboard tutorial in Alice. So let's just recall where we were up to last time, so I'll quickly play. We can see the skateboarder climbs up the ramp and skates over, skate, does a jump and lands to the ground. Now there's a couple of problems at this stage. We notice firstly that the distance above the ground when he completes his jump is slightly larger than zero. And we can also see that the, the jump, if I just quickly replay that, is not smooth like as we'd expect. So let's quickly do a couple of fixes here. So first thing we want to do is change the timing. So notice here we've got a do together command. And for that do together we've got to do an order, moving up, moving down, which is going to take a total of one second for this plus one second for that. So it's going to take a two, total of two seconds for the skateboarder to move up and move down. Now we want this to be the same amount of time as it's taking to move the skater forward. So we need to change this to two seconds. So that's the first fix. We'll also notice that I've gone through and changed the style for each of these commands to be abrupt. So a style abruptly there. So I've changed that. The other thing I need to do here is introduce as seen by this one here. So we want the skateboarder to move down as seen by the ground rather than as seen by the skateboard. Let's see how that goes. So we've got a smoother smoother look to it so it goes in more of a more of a curve and we also notice now when the skateboarder lands he's exactly zero meters above the ground. So let's continue. So we want to now uh, introduce a new comment here. So in this case we want to straighten the, the skateboard once it hits the ground and continue forward. So to do that, I'm going to introduce a do together block. Within that do together block, I'm going to include a do an order. So in do an order, what I want to do is firstly turn the skateboard so it now goes back into a horizontal uh, position. And then having done that, I want to move the skateboarder down. That's what actually happens when we move this, the skateboard, turn it forward the effect is the skateboarder moves slightly up at the same time. So, we want to do a skateboard turn and forward. I'll just put in default of one revolution, but we'll change that as we did earlier with the angle divided by 2 pi. So divided by 6.28, which is again approximately 2 pi. And we'll do that over half a second. So duration of half a second. And we don't need any as seen by there. But we will change the style. So again, we'll have an abrupt style. And the other one is we want to move the skateboard down. Again, we'll put in a default amount, but we'll copy over this skateboard distance above ground. So again, we'll use the clipboard over here, drag that into there, and drag it back over, and we get that skateboard above ground. And at the same time as this is going on, so again, let's change the timing there. So that's going to be a duration of half a second. And we want to do that as seen by ground, as we did with that earlier move down command. And at the same time, we want to move the skateboarder, skateboarder, and we're going to move them forward, but relative to the the jump, we'll actually be moving it back as we did earlier. So move two meters. and as seen by the jump. So 
let's test that. Not too bad. Good. Now we're going to add a trick up here. So we want to, I want the skateboarder to do a, a 360 degree turn while he's moving through the air. So that's going to be up here. So I'm going to do a skateboard turn left, a full revolution. Let's test that. And there we are. Now you can see we've got a slight error, but it's pretty well close to zero when he lands. So let's just restart that plate once more. So a very in insignificant difference there. And there we have it. We've got some fairly simple movement going on there. We've used the as seen by attribute there to affect the way that the skateboarder uh, moves and so forth. Very important thing to use there. We've made sure we've used the abrupt style throughout to get a fairly smooth look to the moves. So I probably should update these ones as well. Style abrupt and this one as well. And there you have it. So a series of two together commands, uh, some mathematical functions, some basic trigonometry and so forth, and we've got the skateboarder moving and doing some very simple tricks. And I'll wrap it up there.